you know, when you, when, when, when I and all medical people, and in fact, most educated people, think of pain and depression, you see them as two separate things. Here's pain, and pain is da 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 it's got all these things about it, and it's in a little silo, and here is depression, and depression has da 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 it's got all its things, and it's also in a separate silo, and sometimes the two silos kind of fold over each other like this, but the interesting thing is, and they, sorry, and they remain, but they're always separate, separate pain and depression. The interesting thing is that big, in, when people have done research, there is between 60 to 85% of people who have chronic pain are also diagnosed with significant depression. 85%, wow, okay. So the, and the interesting thing is I'm gonna read you a list of things that I've got, got here, which go with depression and which also appear with chronic pain. So these are, symptoms these are signs these are things so if we if i start at my top people who are depressed and people who have chronic pain have what's called and i'm just this is the top of my list it's not necessarily the most important but just 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 tick this in your own mind they have what's called motor retardation what that means is that if you have chronic pain you move more carefully because it either hurts or you're scared that it may hurt. So you have motor retardation with chronic pain, which to a degree makes sense, but to a degree, the fact that you move slowly and carefully and start doing weird adaptations actually will increase the risk that your chronic pain will continue on. It's, a, it's, a, it's what's called a pain behavior. Um, people who are depressed move more slowly. They have motor retardation. They, y y you um, are the two things that almost invariably is that if you're in chronic pain, you're grumpy, you're irritable, you feel anxious, you feel cross, you 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 get you feel more angry at at times. If you're depressed, exactly the same. You you're more grumpy you're more irritable, you get angry, you definitely feel more anxious. You feel tired. So there's fatigue and the fatigue is profound and it's equally profound with chronic pain and with depression. Sleep is often interfered with in, in depression, almost invariably, you wake up at two in the morning and your mind is going round and round and round. In chronic pain, it's related to your chronic pain. So as you make movements or you can't get to sleep, or you wake early in the morning. So your sleep is interfered with, which is your ability to regenerate. In both conditions, depression and chronic pain, your thinking processes are affected. You do not remember as well. You do not think as clearly. You do not problem solve. If you were to have an IQ test before you had chronic pain or before you became depressed, the results would be equally down. Your, your thinking, your cognition is just not as sharp, not as clear. Your memory is not as good in both cases with chronic pain because it's so interfered with your life you um, and it interferes with your uh, relationships with people it interferes with sexual relationships it, it it increases social isolation and the same with depression depression does exactly the same often because of the chronic pain or because of depression you lose your job the 
your self-esteem because there's so many things some our self-esteem is tied up with so many so many of these things that i've discussed your job your relationships your ability to think clearly your um uh, just your mood uh, you know in both of them often you will lose your job and in both there's an increased risk of suicide so the the whole list now these in medicine are made completely separate here's chronic pain it has these sets of things that occur here's depression it has these sets but they're all the same there's only one difference between the two of them the one is that the label is chronic pain because these people have pain as the central part of what they produce and these people have the mood disturbance the feeling low everything's gray nothing seems to give you joy in life and that's called depression and the way i see it is that all those symptoms where they join together if you saw them as the side of a coin and if you turn the coin this side it would have chronic pain then you've got the same symptoms and you turned it this side you have depression the fascinating thing is i'm just going to share an image this is now the the neuroscience which is the the new one of the, the the new threshold you know one of the things which are where medicine is progressing is our ability to see what makes what happens in your brain because what's recognized now is that chronic pain and depression are in fact to a, to quite a large extent a brain processing problem and these are the areas brainstem amygdala hippocampus thalamus basal ganglia insula anterior cingulate cortex prefrontal cortex and so on and so on these are the areas that light up when you have chronic pain guess what these are the areas that light up when you have chronic depression it's the same areas and not only that but the little the the incredibly important transmitters the the neurotransmitters that send messages between these areas of the brain which are noradrenaline they what are called the monoamine substances so it's noradrenaline or in the in the us you would call it norepinephrine dopamine and serotonin these are the substances that are affected and their levels drop so what you're looking at and the reason that it's just the element the the uh, the label that you're given is the extent to which you feel pain or the extent to which your mood is affected or if you're unlucky both coexisting together they're all dancing together because it's actually the same underlying brain process or brain malfunction which is um extraordinary really